For the first time, Russia attacking Lviv, a bustling city which was considered a safe haven just 40 miles from Poland. Verified videos circulating on social media showing two of the explosions slamming into an aircraft repair facility near the main airport. The Russians firing six cruise missiles from the Black Sea, hundreds of miles away. At least two of the missiles were intercepted before they could reach their target. And as Russia deals with franchises pulling out of the country, Burger King and Papa John's are here to stay for now. Burger King saying that it can't shut down hundreds of stores because its main franchisee in Russia has refused to do so. Papa John's also has no plans to stop operating the 190 stores in the country. Evacuation orders in effect in central Texas as the Eastland complex fire rages. Tens of thousands of acres burned, hundreds of homes evacuated. The fire right now is only 4% contained. Leah Thomas, a swimmer on the University of Pennsylvania's women's swim team, has become the first openly transgender athlete to win a Division I NCAA championship. I try to focus on my swimming, uh, what I need to do to get ready for my races, and just try to block out everything else. Outside of the arena, dueling protests. Leah Thomas will always have a male body. This dog whistle for transphobia, if we are going to allow Leah to compete, then we need to give her a chance to win. And a chance she will get. Thomas is advancing to the women's 200 freestyle final and her second chance to win big at the NCAA championships. The House has voted to pass the Crown Act, legislation that would ban race-based hair discrimination on the basis of hair texture and hairstyles, like hair that's tightly coiled, curled, or worn in protective hairstyles like locks or twists. President Biden has already said he'd sign the bill, but first, it heads to the Senate. Dolly Parton is still on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ballot, despite the Queen of Country's wish to respectfully bow out of contention. It kind of would be like putting ACDC in the Country Music Hall of Fame. It just felt a little out of place for me. The Hall of Fame Foundation saying in a statement, we are in awe of Dolly's brilliant talent and pioneering spirit and are proud to have nominated her. to decline the nomination earlier this week, writing on social media, I don't feel that I have earned that right, saying she didn't want votes to be split because of her. The only country artist among the 17 nominees to the Hall's 2022 class, including Lionel Richie, Pat Benatar, Dion Warwick, and Eminem. There's some straight up rootsy rock and roll songs that she could just, she could just tear up. What can I trip to space for a Saturday Night Live star. Pete Davidson bowing out of Blue Origin's next flight after Jeff Bezos' company rescheduled the launch for more testing. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.